Welcome back to Solutions Uncut. I'm Buddy Kunana. Tonight's topic is the online vehicle marketplace, and we're joined by Carmudi, uh, the official from Carmudi, led by Fritz Simmons, who's the global co-founder, and Zubir Lohani, who is the uh, managing director of Carmudi Philippines. So, Fritz, Zubir, welcome back to our second, our final segment. Okay, let's talk about how Filipinos buy cars. So, you guys have set up shop here, and you've obviously studied the market. And as Fritz said, the first segment, you have to tailor make your operations depending on the realities of market, what goes yeah. on, and the practices. Mm -hmm. no? yeah. Now, how do Filipinos traditionally buy cars? Sure, in terms of how they actually find the car, it's, yeah. it's, it was very offline. I mean, they, you have these magazines with, with classifieds, or you, you know, go around to 10 different dealers, but if you really look at it, how big is each dealer, 100 square meters maybe? You visit 10 of them, that's, that's okay. a lot of space to walk, right? Um, so we realized, and I think also when, uh, when Carmudi decided to enter the Philippines, there was a huge potential actually to streamline this process, take this sort of offline way they do it, uh, completely online and because of the high internet penetration rate here you know Facebook usage is extremely high we thought that Filipinos are naturally inclined actually to go online and search for things online and via social media so we're trying to capture that capture that market to, to basically streamline how they find cars yeah now for its um, okay interesting what uh, Subir said but I mean how does this compare to other markets you've been ex exposed to I mean uh, how is the Philippines different from let's say your, your, your South American your, or your African operations? Um, yeah, so actually we are uh, very happy to say that uh, the Filipinos are very, very tech savvy. So um, in terms of their behavior, they're already um, very much uh, yeah, passionate mobile phone, smartphone users. They, they're very much accustomed to the way of interacting and maybe even buying stuff online. So it makes it much easier for us to actually come in and, and operate in this market. So we see that maybe contrary to Africa, um, in Africa, this is all a little bit more difficult. Yeah? But again, yeah, we, are, uh, we are here for a challenge, yeah? and um, we also take that up, that customer feedback, and try to accommodate for, for every sort of way. Yeah? Um, so generally, I think uh, what makes Philippines special is that um, it is a very, very advanced market. It's a very, very fast-growing market, and uh, thus we put a lot of attention on it, also from Berlin, yeah? and making sure that uh, we really deliver the best uh, to, to our, our, our users and clients here. Yes, in Southeast Asia, aside from Philippines, where else have you set um, up shop? We have uh, set up camp in uh, seven countries in uh, Southeast Asia, wow. yeah, amongst <laughs> which is uh, Bangladesh, Pakistan, uh, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Myanmar, and uh, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So, um, and yeah, in fact, Philippines. Okay. Okay, you talk about challenges. What is the biggest challenge that uh, Carmoody, or the, bigger, the, the, the big challenges that Carmoody is facing here in the Philippines? Sure, actually, um, we're doing extremely well, first, firstly. Um, obviously, we, we were not the first uh, players into the market, um, but I think by our platform and product, uh, we've shown that we, have, uh, we are number one now. Um, in terms of uh, challenges, always really still getting, even though the Philippines has high internet, internet penetration, but still growing, um, we find the challenge is still getting people to completely come online because um, mm. cars are still in people's mindset an offline product I want to go there touch yeah. that yeah. see it uh, see all the cars actually physically there yeah. but we're trying to streamline that process create the user experience so there's no real difference between going to carmody.com.ph and actually physically going to a dealer yeah no and and, and as you guys pointed out I mean um, you guys are facilitating the contact between the two, yes. but the, the the buyer will really have to go and visit the car anyway. Exactly. So you're not really taking that out of the equation. No, we're right? not. Yeah. Yeah. But we're what we are doing is creating the initial screening, like there I said go. before, versus going to ten dealers and walking kilometers of kilo and kilometers, with a few clicks of a button or on our mobile app a few swipes, you ha pick exact specifications you want, and you can narrow down your vehicle maybe to ten types of uh, dealers who and actually have And you can spend it. half a day and look at what. 300 cars or something like that, 400 cars, 1,000 exactly. cars even. No? So, I mean, it really depends yeah. on the actual user. Some users are more price sensitive, so we have the pricing function there. You can really narrow cars down to what type of price range you want. For Some sure. users actually like certain brand. So you go Toyota, whatever brand, this color, and then they'll use those features to search for uh, cars that they want. Yeah, and, and very practical. And because uh, yeah, Actually, yeah, I think it's a good point to also talk about a bit, little bit of the, the outlook that we have towards uh, sure. buying yeah. and, uh, and looking for cars. Yeah. So we find that not only do we have uh, a certain type of user that is already pre-informed and says, I want this particular model, yeah? so I want this particular Toyota model, um, and then searches for that. But instead, we also find there is a, is a, is a high number of people out there that say, OK, I have this certain budget, or I want course, this particular car, so I'm uh, like, maybe like a lifestyle or, or lifestyle or like kind of thing. thing. So I have cars. a family. I want mm. a family car. Then I you suggest just you, you have suggestions. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, you uh, you have uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe you just got a salary raise, and now I want to buy a sporty car. Yeah. Mm. Or I have just made my driving license, so I want cars for that specific area. Yeah. Or I just want to have a comfortable luxury car mm. or an SUV. But I don't know which model exactly. And maybe I even within that I have a tight budget. So you say, okay, I want a sports car, but I don't want to spend quite that much. Mm. So we give you that option to look exactly for that. And then also, um, basically, yeah, so you have the chance. Yeah? So you say, okay, I don't have to narrow myself down to a specific brand, yeah? but I can say, okay, maybe three, four, five different brands. Models are very, very similar, but one is maybe slightly cheaper than the other, and you can really trade off. And plus, we give you the exact specifications, so you don't need to go outside of Kamudi yeah. to inform yourself about those models. Yes, yes. Just do it on our website, all done and dusted, and then you contact the dealer and seal the deal. Yeah. Yeah, just Very to add nice. on what Fritz Very said nice. as well, I mean, we cater to so many different types of car buyers. If you look at the statistics, we cater to every life cycle of a car buyer, from you know the university student who's getting his first car to maybe your first kid, you want a family car, I don't know, midlife crisis, maybe you want the a sports, sports car, car right? <laughs> uh, which Fritz mentioned, and then uh, you know maybe buying a car for your kids. So we really cater to that entire spectrum. Very nice. Okay, how do you, uh, okay, how do you guys stay ahead of your competition? Because you yeah. you guys have mentioned a lot of nice things, a lot of nice options, mm -hmm. a lot of nice features, and make it, you know the whole buying experience comfortable, convenient for the end user. You know, but I'm sure you know it's all online. So what I'm sure if if it works for you guys, your competition is going to be doing the same thing, and it's very easy for them to do to to to. to maybe put these features in as well. So how are you guys staying ahead of the curve? I think one of our main goals is to really establish Kamudi as a household brand for you, for people Branding, that yep. are generally interested in vehicle buying and selling. Yeah? So I mean, what we want to think, our customers or anyone really on the streets is, I want to buy a car, where do I go? I don't open up a newspaper, I go online and just type in kamudi.com.ph and everything uh, will be taken care of. Um, and it's really, really easy and fast for me. Plus. I only find the best cars there. I find sufficient choice so that I can actually find exactly what I want. So branding, you guys are creating that brand already. Yeah. And you guys are in the pole position, right? I mean, you guys are the biggest now. And, and uh, in, in nine months, amazing. And then I understand you have just launched your Android app. Tell us about this, uh, this app. Yeah, in the Philippines, uh, we launched it in July. Essentially, it's uh, you know, 20, our 24,000 uh, plus cars in your pocket at any time. Um, especially in the <laughs> Philippines, uh, we see in the Philippines and all Southeast Asian countries that people are skipping this uh, desktop internet generation. They're going directly to mobile internet. So in order to capture that market and the high smartphone penetration, it really made a lot of sense to enter into the Android market also because it has the highest penetration rate uh, in the Philippines and such that people can search for cars on the go, right? People are busy nowadays. You can't really spend uh, sometimes times at your desk, but with this, even if you're in a cab or you're having coffee, you can easily search for vehicles at any time. This, this 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 online facility. Have you guys rolled this out as well in other parts of Asia? Is this is this is this catching on as well? I'm sorry, what do you mean? I mean, this you? online application. Did this yes, app? exactly. I mean, is, so is um, um, basically, well? yeah, we, we try to roll that out uh, globally all the time. Yeah, yeah. and I think uh, it, it provides a lot of unique features. So even for example, in case yeah um, that uh, you're looking for a specific, very very specific car, maybe uh, whatever a 1959 Ford Mustang. Yeah, and we don't have that at that particular moment in time. Uh, you are always free to just um, basically have a search alert so we inform you on your phone in that exact second in that someone uploads a 1959 Ford Mustang and you get you're the first to know yeah, because you are looking for that car plus additionally you always have the option to share yeah um, with your friends and so on and so forth so you say like for example yeah I found this really really cool car I wish I had the money for example or I what do you guys think of that car for whatever my 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 son's uh, whatever birthday I don't know yeah um, so you can, this is, we really want to make this uh, really an experience for people also, yeah? So um, there's a couple of ways in which we really want to, yeah, make, it, make buying a car not necessarily a struggle, but also something you might even look forward to. Yeah? Yes, yes. And uh, okay, let's talk about the Philippines, your, your plans for this year. Uh, you have 20,000 listings at the moment, 25,000, no? How much do you think you'll, you'll hit by the year end? And then, okay, I mean, how do you get the word out there? It really, it's, it's about social media for you guys, no? Um, well, yeah, in terms of the Philippines and the yeah. online marketing side, yeah, social media is, is, is the biggest in terms of uh, Facebook. 25,000 listings, if you, if you think about the, the, the volume of cars in the Philippines and the number of cars yeah. projected to come online next year, exactly. I think several hundred thousand. Uh, I, mean, I think, three, yeah, three I think it's 300, yeah. 300 plus and thousand. And that's a lot of cars, cars no? So and people have to sell their old cars. Of course, cars so as well. uh, what are you guys targeting for the end of the year? I mean, for us, it's uh, not necessarily 100% about the actual number on the side. Yeah? Yeah. So we like to cover as much of the market as we can. Yeah? But um, I mean, we also have a lot of um, time that we still need to um, 
get a full 100% of the C2C market covered. Yeah? So as up until then, it's quite a way to go. For us, primary concern is still the quality. Yeah? So we don't just want to blast up the sure, numbers. Sure. For us, it's, uh, we are already in a comp position where we can offer have a good offering. But uh, for us, it's also um, yeah, the you have pleasing to, is you have to maintain that reputation. Yeah, that's saying like branding. Look, exactly. uh, if we have a hundred thousand or hundred twenty thousand cars on the side, it doesn't really make a, a too much of a difference. Specifically, then if the hundred twenty thousand cars are not of good quality, but the hundred thousand are, yeah. So that's more our priority quality, yeah. to make sure that uh, the experience also stays the same. Yeah, and um, and whilst we increase product range, we also. Um, don't uh, impede on the exactly. On the so user so while we while we do grow um, extremely fast, uh, we're always our number one priority is to ensure the quality of everything we put up. Uh, we don't sacrifice you know numbers just for quality. When are Cebu and Davao coming online? Uh, Cebu is already online, um, right. so we're getting uh, traction in Cebu now as well. Um, they're, they're they're doing quite well. Um, Davao, hopefully within the next uh, you know month, a uh, few weeks to a month, we should get Davao online. So it gives us a countrywide coverage with. Cebu covering Central Visayas and then Davao covering uh, the Mindanao area. Any plans for Northern Philippines? Um, in terms of uh, Lawag and, and yeah, those areas? Yeah, I mean uh, Baguio, Cordillera, that, that area. Sure, all um, the way up we north. actually do have uh, listings from those, uh, from those areas. Um, we, we do um, sort of short trips uh, out of Manila to, to cover them, but really we need to, the market is still growing and we need to study more on exactly where the higher concentration is and strategically decide if we want to uh, expand to those cities or cover them from our existing uh, cities. And, and actually yep. we already do uh, national, nationwide marketing. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. So um, we mm -hmm. also find that people even from more remote areas do upload their cars yeah. on our site and they do also get an interest for it. Yeah? Because um, not only do we have certain car, car buyers that take long trips to the big cities to, to make their purchase, but in the future they won't necessarily have to because they don't need to go to a car center or something like this to buy their car, but they can also go to private dealers around the corner. Yes, Maybe your yeah. neighbor has the car that you want. Yeah, yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Then you don't need to take a ferry and go to <laughs> Cebu. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, which you can just buy your neighbor's no, car. I mean, yeah? That's very important information, right? I mean, you, you, you want to visit the car, but of course it's got to be within, it's got to be geographically viable for yeah. you to go there. Yeah, uh, which is why we, yeah, we have all that search functionality yeah. on our platform as well, search by city and everything. But as Fritz said, really the C2C market is, is a growth. I mean, a random person on your street may have the car that you want. Now guys, uh, quickly, before we go, uh, last words from you first, and then we, we end with uh, Subir. Yeah, so uh, maybe for me, from a global perspective, I'm extremely excited about uh, being here in the Philippines. And uh, I think um, it's a lot of fun. I, I, I love Filipinos. Yeah, they're very, very friendly. And um, I'm excited to, to come here again. Yeah. Um, thanks for hosting. Thank uh, you very much for coming. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you for and I uh, hope that uh, all of you guys out there uh, visit us on uh, www.kamudi.com.ph. Perfect. Sabir? Yeah, Masa, I'm very happy to be back in the Philippines uh, since I grew up here. I'm um, looking forward to keeping our uh, market position as well as growing and providing uh, every person in the Philippines the best uh, possible way to find the dream uh, car of your choice. So, carmoody.com.ph, that is where they can yes, find it. Yes, www.carmoody.com.ph. And in the uh, um, Google Play Store to download our Android yeah. app, yeah, which you just find under Carmoody. And you guys are on Facebook and, and, yes. and all the social Facebook, media. Facebook, all the, the social networks. media. There's many points of contact we have. Perfect. Perfect. Well, guys, very inspiring your story, and I'm sure it's going to be a success. And Thank uh, you. I would love to have you guys again when you're back in town and talk about maybe towards the end of the year. We can talk about what you guys have achieved then. Yeah, uh, very exciting sure stuff. Do, yeah. Thank you. Thank Danke. you very much. Danke, Zara. Danke. Danke. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, thank you very much, Zubir. Thank you. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed our talk tonight about online vehicle marketplace. Don't forget, www.carmoody.com.ph is the name of the game. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week here at the show where we talk about matters to you guys because you guys matter the most. See you. <laughs>